Elite Gaming. What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ, and if you've been following the channel, you know that I'm doing a showdown between the Ryzen R5 1500X and a similar priced Intel i5 6500. For all the tests we're going to run and more details about that, check out this card here. But today let's go over the Ryzen R5's competition. The competitor is going to be an Intel i5 6500 Skylake processor, and this build is a budget of $600. For the GPU, we used an RX 480, and I'll show you how to get that card for a cheap price later in the video. First, let's start with the processor. The processor is a quad core at 3.2 gigahertz, and it comes in at 189.99 on Superbiz. For the motherboard, we went with an MSI H10M. We got this motherboard at Amazon for 53.98. It came with everything we needed, which is USB 3.0 and a PCI Express 3.0 slot. Next, we go over to Newegg for our RAM. For the RAM, we picked ourselves up a Patriot Viper 8GB DDR4 module. Really, the DDR4 is interchangeable, whatever company you decide to use. Just keep it in mind for later on if you ever want to do an upgrade. With one module, we can always just add a second one in later down the road. For a hard drive, we went for the trusted Western Digital Caviar Blue. That's a 7200 RPM internal hard drive with 1TB storage. The prices on these have been fluctuating, and usually you can find them from $40 to $50. Today, we found it for $49.33 on Outlet PC. For the PSU, we went with an EVGA 550W ATX power supply. We found this over at Superbids for $36.99, and if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I really trust EVGA. They make great power supplies, and I put them in almost every PC I build. For the case, we went with a sub $40 with the DIY PC Black ATX Mid Tower. This case comes pre-installed with two 120mm LED fans. In this video here, you can see that I moved the back fan to match the front fan and added in one more 120mm fan for optimum cooling. I was actually really happy with this case, and you'll see that I have a lot of room to work with when I do the build log for this PC. For under $40, this is a really nice case, and I recommend it to anyone on a budget. If you go to Jet.com and you search for the RX4, if you arrange by price, you'll find that the Windforce model is the cheapest price. You can pick up the card for $192, but then use the JET code TRIPLE15 and it will knock an extra 15% off your order. For me it doesn't work because I've already done 3 orders with this code, but for you it should work fine, all you have to do is make an account. And that'll allow you to fit your RX 480 in your $600 build. Now I'll give you some pictures here of how the build went, and as well as I should have a build video in a couple days. I feel like this is a really good computer for $600, though if you wanted to do a little bit of an upgrade, the one thing I would add is an SSD. You can pick up a good one from $40 to $50 and if you're wondering if you need an SSD, I have a video on that, and I'll put the card right here for that. So as far as this computer being able to compete with the Ryzen R5, we don't know. We haven't got that chip yet. But either way, for $600, this is a fully capable PC. You could play any game on it, all the way down to VR. So with that budget, in 2017, I feel like this is what your go-to PC should look like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ.